Go Unchained, Short Movie View. Dr. Schultz, a German immigrant, frees Django, a slave, two years before the Civil War in America. And he promises to be his mentor, help him as help him become a fellow bounty hunter, and after they've done some jobs together, he will help him get his wife back, who is still a slave. And this has just everything you expect from Tarantino, really. He, he pushes the boundaries, it's extremely bloody and violent. It's actually the unpleasant kind of violence for once, and again, like with Inglourious Bastards, he kind of rewrites history, he reverses the roles, making one of the victims now the perpetrator, and having us ask, is it really better, or is it okay, is revenge a good thing? The performances are great, and everyone is perfectly cast. There are some great cameos, very well worth um, keeping our eyes open for. And Leonardo DiCaprio shatters his image as this fluffy romantic lead with his first villain role and a deeply disturbing one. You will never look at the man the same again. Samuel Jackson also goes very much against type, playing a and also truly disturbing and despicable character. He's a slave, but he is the sort of the right-hand man. He's the slave who watches the other slaves, and he gets some benefits in return. So he's, he's kind of a traitor, and it's... yeah, you just really hate him. And Christoph Waltz is nothing like he was in Inglourious Bastards, and still just fantastic. He's, he's kind of... He's, he's a kind person, but also fairly determined, and Django himself is a great anti-hero. He does some things that you're not going to agree with, and how much it actually pushes him away from being a straight-up hero is up to the individual watching. And Django himself is very hardened, but still has a heart, and the emotion in the film rings very true. The music is great. Some Ennio Morricone, some rap is Tarantino uses music really well, and he mixes all these different cultural elements that just you wouldn't think go to, would go together at all. It is two hours and forty-four minutes long, but if you're a big fan of Tarantino, you're gonna love it. If you're not that much of a fan, you might just want to wait for a rental, maybe take some breaks in it or something. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below. It's there as a video response. If not. It'll be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.